Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Beginners Lesson 34 and today we're going to talk about letter spacing and line height. That's coming up. Okay, so before we dive in the code, I want to go through what letter spacing is and what line height is and what word spacing is. So, if you're coming from a graphic design background or Photoshop, you're probably familiar with these things. They're called something a little bit different, I think, but uh, either way, you're probably familiar with the concepts. Now, Letter spacing is simply the spaces between letters. You can control that. So you can make the font look a little stretched, if you like, or kind of condensed and crammed together. So that is the letter spacing. In graphic design, it's more commonly referred to as tracking. Um, the word spacing down below is the same concept, but it's the space between words instead of letters. And the line height is the vertical height or the vertical space between lines in a paragraph. So imagine these are full sentences, yeah? Uh, full kind of width. and in a, within one paragraph and that height there between each line would be the line spacing. Alright so now we know that let's jump into the code and play around with them. Yeah. Alright guys so here I am back in the code and you can probably see I've added this style tag here with just a few different styles in. Don't pay attention to that I've just uh, added those in to make the site look a little bit more pretty so that's the only reason for that. Down below here we've got some dummy text in this is actually really cool it's from a site called uh, Samuel L. Lipson which comes up with this Samuel L. Jackson type dummy text. It's an alternative to Laura Mipsum. So you check that out, it's really cool. Um, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab all the P's with our P selector and we're gonna look at those properties. And we'll start by just giving the font a font size of 12 pixels, right? And we'll give it a letter spacing first of all. Now this property, dead simple, is just letter hyphen spacing. If you can spell, <laughs> unlike me. And we've got here inherit, we've seen what that does, just inherits the parent elements uh, letter spacing property. And we've got normal to default it back to the normal letter spacing. So we can add our own letter spacing and we can do this using pixels, but we can also use the relative measurements, which are M's and percentages, much like we can with the font size. Now they work a little bit differently when it comes to letter spacing, word spacing and line height, the M's and percentages. So I'm gonna go through that in a minute. Just to begin with, we're gonna use pixels and I'm gonna say, what the hell, 10 pixels. All right, so let's save this now and view this bad boy in a browser. All right, that looks absolutely cool, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> if you can read that, then kudos, because I ain't got a clue what it says. So that is letter spacing in action. Yeah, we've done it a little bit too much there, but if you wanted to stretch by just a couple of pixels, that would probably be the better thing to do, okay? Uh, by the way, this is that CSS that I did. It's giving it a gray background and just this central column. Looks a lot better, don't you think? Cool. Anyway, that is the letter spacing. Let's just reduce this a little bit to about two pixels because that is a lot more easier on the eye. View this in a browser again. And there you go, that looks better, doesn't it? I mean, now the letters are a little bit further spaced, they've got a little bit more room to breathe, but it's not illegible, all right? So that is what letter spacing is all about. Now let's look at the word spacing property. Again, we'll go up to 12 pixels between the words. We'll start at an extreme level and view this in a browser again. Okay, yeah, there again, it's a little bit too much, but you can see there's 12 pixels now between each word there, okay? So let's just reduce this, and we'll go down to two pixels again, yeah? See what that does for us. There's a dog barking away in the background. Okay, cool, that's a bit better. Um, so yeah, we can pad out the words and the letters using letter spacing and word spacing. Now, the line height, is something slightly differently, uh, something slightly different, sorry. That is the vertical space. So let's give that a go. And again, it's just line dash height property. And we'll give that 12 pixels again. That is my lucky number today. View this in a browser. Now then, that doesn't look very big, does it? 12 pixels, there's not 12 pixels of space between those. What's going on? Well, let's just try this. Let's try increasing this to, I don't know, 24 pixels. And view this in a browser again. Right, that's more like it. Now we've got this uh, space here, but it, again, it doesn't look like 24 pixels. So what's going on? Well, my friends, this is what's going on. The font 
size itself is 12 pixels, okay? So when we specified a line spacing of 12 pixels, or line height of 12 pixels rather, um, that is the vertical height of that line, okay? It's 12 pixels. We're not specifying the gap in between the lines, we're specifying the height of the whole line. So now, this whole thing here is 12 pixels. If I do zero pixels, check out what happens. Open this up in a browser again. See that? It all kind of goes on top of each other. All right? And that's because the line is zero pixels in height, so it's having no space whatsoever to breathe vertically. Okay, so because the font is 12 pixels, it's taking up 12 pixels in height, that line, automatically. Now, if we had a line height of 12 pixels, it's not doing anything to it because the font size is already 12 pixels. You follow me, right? Now, if we double that to 24 pixels, we're saying, okay, well, you've got 12 pixels for the font height and an additional 12 pixels for the space in between. That makes perfect sense, yeah? All right, cool. So, I said we could use M's. All right, now let's look at the letter spacing first of all. And I'm going to say two M's. Now, in the font size case, I said that the M's would inherit the parent element's uh, font size and then times it by two in this case, yeah? That's not the case here. We don't inherit from, say, the body uh, tags, that you know, the parent element's letter spacing, because it might not have one associated to it. What we do is we inherit this 12 pixels that we've speci uh, specified as the font size for the P tag, and then we times that by two. So that is the equivalent of saying 24 pixels. So whatever this is here, the font size, we times it by two. Or if it's three M's, then we times it by three. So that then will be 36 pixels, letter spacing. Okay, now it's normally good practice to do uh, to do something like, you know, 0.1 or 0.2, because you don't want the letter spacing to be that far apart. So let's just check out, first of all, this, what it looks like in a browser. Open this in Chrome. And there you go. You know, that's not 0.2, is it? Yeah, that's not 0.2. And it looked pretty cool. So that is how M's work with letter spacing. And it's exactly this, uh, the same with word spacing. Let's just get rid of this and do word spacing. So we'll view this in a browser. Put in Chrome. Yeah, that was cool. And you guessed it, guys. With line height, it's exactly the same. However, in this case, you don't want 0.2 M's because remember, that's going to cause the font to kind of overlap on each other. We want at least 1 M because 1 M will be 12 pixels. Yeah, 1 times 12. And we need at least 12 pixels in height for the font size of 12 pixels. So ideally, we want to make this over 1, maybe 1 1.5 to 2, something like this. Or even more depending on, you know, <laughs> your designs. Uh, so let's view this in a browser one last time. Cool, there it is. So we've got now a little bit of space in between these lines. It's quite readable, except for the fact that the font size is really small. <laughs> but apart from that, the spacing looks pretty cool. All right, guys, so that about covers it for letter spacing, word spacing, and line height. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask them below, and I'll answer all of those as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, um, or share them, and I'll be back with another one very soon. I'll see you guys then.